Hello, I'm Jessica Corbin, certified personal trainer and founder of Fitness RX, and I'm going to show you guys how to stretch your upper quad and your hip. So your quads and your hips are connected by a series of nerves and blood vessels and connective tissue, and it's recommended that you stretch these areas in tandem for best results. So I'm going to give you a few stretches that will help to do just that. The first one is a basic standing quad stretch. So just come to a standing position and go ahead and reach back for your ankle. Draw your kneecaps towards each other and then tuck your tailbone and you will most definitely feel a nice stretch happening on the quad, on the front side of the quad. And then after this, you can go ahead and move down towards the floor for a low lunge. So one leg is in front, 90 degree in the front leg. Bend that back leg, untuck your back toes. Now you can stay with your hands on the floor or you can interlace your hands on top of this front thigh, but you really are accessing the top of the quad and the hip. And then finally, you can move into a basic ankle over knee stretch. So you just transfer yourself onto your buttocks, eventually all the way onto your back, take one ankle over knee, draw opposite knee in and interlace your hands around the, the hamstring or the shin and just pull in on that leg to really get a deep stretch once again on the hip and the upper quad. I'm Jessica Corbin, certified personal trainer and founder of Fitness RX, and that was how to perform upper quad and hip stretching.